What's going on ladies and gentlemen? My name is Matthew Gilliland. I'm finally in Medford and we're at this place called the Clubhouse which has a gym which me and my girlfriend already hit up and started working out. And now for the fun part and the most relaxing part is the jacuzzi. Time to wind down. Let all the stress go away. And I'll tell you everything that happened to me while I am relaxing in the jacuzzi with my girlfriend. Here you go. Far. Do you want it zoomed a little or do you like being far back? Let's zoom in just a hair. Just a hair. There you go. Perfectly centered too. So guys, this is my vacation now. Officially my vacation. Yeah, okay. We were on the train from Lawrence, Kansas, um, for about three to four days, I believe. It was like, yeah, is it four or four and a half? And if you smoked, like cigarettes, <laughs> um, your drapes are like two minutes tops. There was that one that was like half a minute. And yeah. Then you jumped out of Exactly. You got one top of your cigarette. <laughs> I had to sit there and fucking hurry up and finish it. 
experience. <laughs> because I'm not going to throw a good cigarette away. That's, that's pathetic. What is that money? It is. And uh, also, we dealt with some strange people. Oh gosh, so strange. Yes. Like, there's this one dude named Anthony, and uh, he said he was a truck driver, but right? he, uh, I don't like making fun of people, but he had a few screws loose. A few screws loose. And he was, he was hitting on my girlfriend whenever I wasn't around. Hey, if he didn't want you, I'd take you. Exactly what he said. You guys don't work out. And then he goes, well, I got a fiance. I'm totally in love with her. Hey, I mean, what does make sense to me is if you have a fiance, wouldn't you be loyal to her? And hey, if you say you love her that much, I mean, wouldn't you like be loyal to that person to flirting with other girls on a train that you don't even know? Especially taking one? Yeah. And then he found a great YouTuber and all of a sudden he wanted to be a YouTuber. This motherfucker took my camera. And out of my hand. Yeah. Whenever I saw it, I got pissed. I kept looking at you like, um, what do I do? And then you saw me reach for it several times and you held it up too high. He was taller than me. And then the, the stupid fuck, when we reached LA. He was trying to lead us to the bus station when we were still taking the fucking train. All stuff is lost. Yeah. If it wasn't for the new friends we made on the train that was guiding us where we needed to go, we wouldn't be here. The bitch adorably they became a couple on the train. Oh yeah, it's like they first met in LA. They, they legitimately, these two couples met in L.A. And they hit it off. Like, they have known each other for, like, years and years. And they, they start holding hands, and they still a kiss, and, yeah. And they say they have a wedding thing in Yeah. And she gave me a bracelet. Yeah. Really also, I mean, it, it, it got worse because there's this dude on there that was 20 years old going around trying to get other people to buy him alcohol on the, on the train. Because on the train, on the Amtrak train, you can actually buy alcohol. And he finally got to me, went down, I went down there, I'm like, okay, and I thought I did not know his age at the time. And I'm, I'm like, okay, uh, I'll just go down there and get it. I guess you're just too lazy to do it yourself. So I go down there and I said, uh, three scotch, which were about this big, and uh, four Heineken's. And he looks at me and he goes, no. I recognize that call. And he shut down right then and there. So he stopped selling alcohol. There was this dude that was wearing this brown hat. And he carried pot on him on a federal government-owned train. He was drunk in a skunk. And, uh, ooh. I've only had one drink. He goes down there and he argues with the dude that is snack that is selling the snacks with food, like food, the drinks, the alcohol. And then the conductor gets involved. I'm like, oh, there is no need for this bullshit. It was yelling. You could hear it from the top floor. Yeah, he almost got kicked off the train and the conductor was like, I can't kick you off here. And uh, just wait till the sheriff shows up at your, at your destination. I didn't do this, but the conductor looked at me and goes, Do you have a problem? I'm like, no. He goes, oh, oh, you weren't involved in this. Sorry. <laughs> I 
I know that is not so fancy. I'm a proper adult. And then from there, Aaron, Aaron started bullying his bullshit. This is what pisses me off most about Aaron. Okay, great. I get that he has autism. I, I get that. People have that. Some people have that. But he's old enough to understand people. And whenever he doesn't get his way, he's 28 years old. But he's older than he's older than both me and my girlfriend. So and whenever I'm not around, he puts he puts shit in her head about me. Which made her very, very uh, trust worthy towards school. It made her have trust issues here and there. And here's the reason why he did all this. He felt lonely. How could you feel lonely when we were all three traveling together, co-working as a team? Or, he also said that, uh, Top of being lonely, he felt that I was going to take his sister away from him. If I was to not give a shit about Aaron, I wouldn't have let him come to my home, sleep on a air, on an air mattress that my friends decided to lend me for him. I would not have gave him any food, any of my food. I would have just said the hell of it again. And it, it, it got worse because one time I went to the bathroom before we made our stop in Portland. And he started making a fucking scene. He started raising his voice, telling his telling my girlfriend that she doesn't care about him. She only cares about herself. She's ignoring him. Okay. I'm only here until the 1st of January. And what Aaron, did, what Aaron cannot fathom is what his sister tried to tell him over and over and over and over and over and over again that they coexist in the same house as me and her, I, I live in Kansas, she lives in Oregon. I scolded him so bad because when he was causing the scene, everybody that was in the, the, the sightseeing part of the train looked right at him. And I don't blame my girlfriend for being embarrassed. And yeah, I scored them really hard. And I thought we got it. I thought I got my point across. We both thought we got our point, our point across. I was a little bit more harsh. I learned to be more harsh for my dad because how I was raised. She was a little bit more subtle with it, more gentle. And the dick move in Portland. We were just fine. And uh, there was hungry homeless people sitting outside. Uh, seven. What? Seven of them. So there are seven homeless people sitting outside of a gray house station in their sleeping bags and whatnot. Nice so I decided to go around and I said, hey, are you hungry? Hey, are you hungry? They all said yes. I gave, I bought them soda and I bought, well, me and my girlfriend bought them soda and we bought them uh, their their meal, which is a burger about this big and this wide. The Bubba Burger? Yeah, the uh, bacon Bubba Burger. Yes. They had chicken on chicken, um, lettuce. Yeah, it's like two chicken strips. Yeah. Bacon, two or three patties. Yeah. They have one of them called a Burger. And it's a chicken burger and a bacon Bubba Burger. 
Holy crap. Yeah. Right. It's well, that's the only in the station. It's, it's, it's like almost full of packs. Oh, God. And I said one. There's, 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 there's six calories stacked on top. They expect one person to be fed. They need the dinner. Hold on, that. Yeah. Yeah. But it's like the name on the side. Yeah. Right. That's still like four hours. Yeah. 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 In Portland, everything was fine. Well, at first, we didn't have a way here to Medford. That's who I was supposed to let now as soon as I got to Medford with me. Uh, I'll do that. But uh, Aaron started acting fucking funny while we were feeding these homeless people. And he started walking off. Let, let me just put it this way. This fucking asshole. Knowing that we were going to board the Greyhound at 11.10 at night. Full on fucking ditched us. After, um, shit. Uh, after Kato's grandma paid almost $300 for all three of us to come home. And what pissed me off the most is he ditched us and some sweet woman wasted like, I don't know, 80 something dollars for, I'm going to say, a Casper fucking friendly ghost to come home with us. And this, this little, before we boarded the train, it was getting close to time, right, we called the police, because this jackass decided it was a good idea to just take off and not tell anybody where he was going. I hate it whenever he throws a fucking fit. I do. But, uh, why don't you stop? I'm there with the bubbles. Do you want me to push it? Yeah. You want bubbles? Yes. I'm just going to sleep back. <laughs> Where was I? You were talking about. Oh, uh, after I called the police? Yeah. Basically, what they said was. Um, He's an adult, he can make his own decisions, yeah, we get that, but this this motherfucker wouldn't change his goddamn phone because he was having he was too busy having a piss pool at that. Was too busy having a piss party. I don't I don't need to talk shit about anybody, but there's a fucking limit I can handle. There's only a fucking certain amount of limit I can handle on somebody. Hold on, guys. There okay. are my. Yes! Woohoo! Mm -hmm. This thing kind of like a for minutes. Ow. I, I can't stand stupid people. I, I can't. If you're being told something multiple fucking times, and he says that he understands it, but in reality, he does not understand it. He calls me his brother, yet yeah, I feel ditched. So is my girlfriend. I mean, we're, we travel together. Right? We've traveled together since day fucking one. Oh, we need more in this. We're like a pack. And, and here's the thing. He got upset over camping. Mind you, camping. We're going to go camping. He was all for us going by ourselves with Kayla and Luke. As a couple of 
But, uh, can I, let me ask you something. How can you read fucking minds when somebody has an official problem with you going camping without them? Yeah, yeah. How, how the hell are we supposed to know that? We're not fucking psychics. Yeah, it, I mean, it would have been like that, pure and simple, done. It would have been with us. But no, we had to play this all around this motherfucker. And then he calls my girlfriend this morning. Oh, I was fucking pissed. He treats her like shit, and it pisses me the fuck off. I mean, th this guy, this guy is fucking scared of me. He's petrified. I told, I told him a long time ago, don't you ever fucking scream at my girl. Because that's how I was brought up. You don't fucking scream at a girl. Or a woman. But he still continues to do it. He's lucky I didn't get physical with him on the train. Quite legitimately, he's lucky. No, I wouldn't have polarized him to a bloody pulp. I would have just taken one punch in the gut. Yeah, uh, he calls, like I said, he calls me his brother. Yet yeah, he regards ditching us. Well, he disregards it, ditching us back in Portland last night. I, I have been ditched before, and I don't forgive that easily. Because. In, in all retrospect, last night he was acting like a total fucking jerk. I gave him the kind of attitude my dad gives me. Don't like him, tough fucking shit. Don't like me, or fucking well. You will respect me. Truth fucking hurts sometimes, man. The, uh, other than that shit, I needed to get away from Parsons for a little bit. Too much fucking drama. Like, way too much drama that's not needed. I know, right? This is the first time that I've ever been in a jacuzzi. I've never been in a jacuzzi before. It's relaxing my muscles. Like the all the stress stuff I have, it's like coming out of that. Like, how she got me a chair, because I was fucking livid that he was on the phone with her demanding shit. She brought me in here, introduced me to the gym, and then, well, first she showed me the uh, jacuzzi, and I'm like, oh, that's fucking nice. Yeah. And she showed the gym, I'm like, yep, pins up aggression and you let out your prison. Hey, sorry about that, I'm just making a YouTube video. It'll let me know the camera's running. Oh, it's not mine. No. <laughs> this is my first time ever being in a jacuzzi. Really? Yeah. Beautiful. It feels <laughs> nice in the back. Oh, yeah. But you have a long workout. Oh, uh, yeah. And after a long ride from uh, Lawrence all the way to Peter. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm from Parsons, Kansas. I'm a long way from home. Oh, yes, you are. <laughs> Four days on the train. Oh, wow. And then, like, almost the whole night, almost one whole night on a Greyhound. So, like, five days of traveling. Oh, 
Thank <laughs> you. 
Eric. Hi, Nora. <laughs> I can see somebody doing that to some people. What? I got it. Can I bring you down? No. No. I need to decompress myself. It's time to come out. It's been too long. I made it go. I'm coming back to church. You have like three days to stay here and somebody comes in. Hold up. Hold the fucking bump on my head. The Michael, what's your name? So do you want it? I got it. And see, that's like all for me. I gotta stop doing the shrooms, man. <laughs> we look at her like, oh, so little. <laughs> we are the angels. <laughs> we are the angels to watch. Come join us. Come join us. You'll turn into a fecal matter. <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> I have hit my dad. How long did you stay in the jacuzzi? Eight, eight hour of the lake, y'all. Can you try to see me doing that? You just been boring. You just been so bad. Oh, what the Oh, man. 
Hopefully I didn't get the camera all wet. Did I? I don't think so. He's so good he got his camera wet. What? I said nothing. Why are you saying nothing? Nothing, nothing. I nothing. All right, let me see what this battery says. It's at a one bar. I mean, what? One bar. A lot bar? So guys, we're going to continue to decompress. Hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you guys ever go on vacation, find a jacuzzi to decompress your travels. And I assume you need a shower because I haven't showered in five fucking days because of traveling. Five fucking days. Alright, bye bye guys.